Hi, Chris here with Depot America. I'll be replacing the swing plate assembly in this HP LaserJet 4250 printer. The same procedure also pertains to the 4200, the 4300, and the 4350 printers. The first items to remove from the printer would be the toner cartridge and the paper cassette. On the rear of the printer we have to remove the output bin, the accessory cover, the duplex cover, and the tray cover. Push up on the blue levers and remove the fuser. Next I'll be removing the formatter. With your screwdriver, pop the formatter out. Locate and remove the four screws securing the printer's top cover. Use needle nose pliers to release the toner cartridge arm. Lift up slightly on the cover and unplug the display cable from the DC controller board. Continue to lift off the entire top cover assembly. Locate the tabs and pull back on the right side cover to release. Locate the tabs and pull back on the left side cover to release. Right behind where the formatter was, remove these two gold screws. Use your screwdriver tip to apply pressure to the circle and pull back on the right side paper tray guide. Remove the power switch connecting rod, the two ribbon cables, three red cables. Work these cables out of their holder. Remove the power cable, work it out of its holder. Push the ribbon cables through to the inside of the printer and pull them through. Same with the rest of the cables. We will now remove the screws that secure the power supply to the printer. On the other side of the printer, remove the bracket beneath the fan. Unplug the fan cable and the environment sensor cable. Remove the three screws securing the power supply. From the rear of the printer, pull the cables out of the way, lift up and pull the power supply and feed guide assembly out of the printer. Remove one screw from the formatter connector bracket. Use the tip of your screwdriver and apply pressure to the white circle. Pull back and remove the power supply guide. Inside the printer, use a small flathead screwdriver to release the tang holding the drive gear and remove. On the opposite side of the printer, there are three clips that secure this cable guide to the frame. Release the clips and pull the guide away from the printer. Now we have access to the three screws securing the swing plate to the frame of the printer. Begin to remove these screws. Once the screws are out, grasp the swing plate, pull it and wiggle it out of the printer. Install the new swing plate. Replace its three screws. Install the gear. Push the cable guide back into place. Reinstall the power supply guide and replace the screw on the formatter bracket. Slide in the power supply and feed guide assembly. Place its three mounting screws and the ground screw. Replace the three mounting screws on the other side. Plug the fan cable back in and plug the sensor cable back in. Reinstall the shield. Snake the cables through the cable guide, starting with the smaller red ones. 
grab the cables and pull them through. 